Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new around here thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking out my content I really do appreciate you being here as we talk about some movie news on the channel. So in this episode of Review Flicks we're going to be diving into the world of shark attack movies. We have a brand new one coming out on Netflix soon which looks to be awesome. I've just had a look at the trailer. All kinds of sharkness and kind of deep blue sea and Jaws-esque type of movie with a shark attacking people and all kinds of gruesome kills, all the kind of stuff that we love in a shark attack movie. So let's jump into this article here from comicflicknews.com and let's find out what this movie is all about. So watch the trailer for Under Paris, a thrilling monster movie set in the heart of Paris. So the shark attack horror genre has seen numerous entries since Steven Spielberg's groundbreaking film Jaws hit theatres in 1970s. Um, numerous entries in the shark attack horror genre. I think that's a bit of an understatement. There's been literally thousands of shark attack movies. They're not always the best type of movies. They're always normally low budget CGI shark fests. But, um, you know, gotta love it. Gotta love it. They're so fun to watch. So, however, many of these films fail to live up to the quality of their predecessor. Yeah, yeah, but Jaws is an all time classic. Trying to hit that peak. Not gonna happen. For every standout like Deep Blue Sea, Guys, just a bit of a tangent here. If you have not seen the shark attack movie, Deep Blue Sea, it's really old now and the CGI doesn't live up to modern standards by any means. But if you have not seen Deep Blue Sea, go and check it out. Absolutely incredible. One of the all-time classic shark attack movies. I really do recommend that movie if you haven't seen it. Um, Deep Blue Sea or The Shallows. I haven't seen that, so I can't comment on that one. Uh, countless imitations flood the market often diluting the subgenre's impact. Yeah, there are. There's just absolutely, there's thousands and thousands of uh, these kind of shark attack movies. Um, some better than others, but, uh, you know, it's still a fun genre to watch when one pops up. So, yeah, amidst the sea of mediocrity. Sea, get it? Sea of mediocrity. <laughs> Funny pun there. So, occasionally a gem emerges. Netflix may have found one such gem with Under Paris. A shark attack horror movie helmed by French director Xavier uh, Jens or Gens. I'm, I'm, sh I'm assuming it's Jens, so Xavier Jens. Um, Xavier Jens, known for films like Frontiers and Cold Skin, returns with Under Paris following his recent action movie Mayhem. Set to premiere on Netflix on June 5th, the film's official trailer was released this week. Obviously, we're going to be playing clips of the uh, trailer as we talk about the movie as well, guys. But yeah, I mean, June the 5th, so it's right around the corner, not long to wait. Um, like I say, I always really, really in do enjoy a good shark attack movie. I think they're fun, even though the market's been completely diluted with these low budget, you know, cheesy sci-fi type movies um, when it comes to shark attacks. When a good one pops up, you know, they're always still fun to watch. And, um, you know, hope fingers crossed that this could be a good one. Um, I mean, the, the trailer looks pretty cool and uh, I have to check it out and see how it goes. So in Under Paris, uh, Jens follows the tradition of Jaws. As a celebratory event transforms into a nightmare when a hungry shark arrives in the heart of Paris, with one shark and a plethora of uh, potential prey, the stage is set for a thrilling and terrifying ride. That sounds good to me. <laughs> a snack, um, a shark snacking down on some people, and uh, you know it's not going to be Oscar caliber performances. The CGI is more than likely going to be quite low budget, but as long as there's some fun, gruesome kills in there, some you know tension and some you know kind of shark craziness going on, that's kind of all we need, really. You know. Um, so uh, we have the official poster here, guys. Uh, a Netflix film under Paris, only on Netflix this summer. And um, I think this post is pretty cool. We have a reflection of the Eiffel Tower here in the water, which is really, really cool. And then we have the fin of the shark kind of approaching Paris, which I think is a really fun poster. I always say in these videos, the most simplest of posters, you know, that can convey the message of the film in one simple image are the best posters. And this poster does exactly that. You have a shark and it's approaching Paris. And, you know, it reflects that in the Eiffel Tower, which is shown in the water. And then you have the fin of the shark. It's a very simple image, but it conjures up all the kind of imagery that the film is about. A shark, a, you know, um, going towards Paris and it's going to cause some uh, sharky mayhem. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a cool poster. Very simple, but very, uh, you know, conveys what it needs to. So the synopsis for Under Paris reads, Sophia, a brilliant scientist, discovers that large shark is swimming deep in the river, promising audiences a gripping and suspenseful tale. So with its unique premise, and Xavier Jens at the helm, Under Paris may, be, may reignite excitement for shark attack horror genre. 
Uh, here's a bit of a longer plot synopsis for this movie. So, set in summer 2024, the film unfolds in Paris, which is hosting the World Triathlon Championships on the, uh, on the scene uh, for the first time. Uh, Sophia, a brilliant scientist, learns from Micah, uh, or Mika, however you say that, a young environmental activist that a large shark is swimming deep in the river. To avoid a bloodbath at the heart of the city, they have no choice um, but to join forces with Adil and Scene River Police Commander. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Bejo, the artist, and Nassim Lies from Overdose Star. Um, I can't say I've heard of either of those names, and I probably butchered them, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. It could be a run-of-the-mill shark movie, you know, that we've seen countless times popping up. It could just be one of those throwaway movies that you watch, and then, you know, 10 minutes after it's finished, you completely forget about it. Or it could be the next great shark attack movie. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But um, I think the trailer looks promising. It shows some great stuff. Again, the CGI looks a little bit low budget. But then again, in most of these shark films that they are, um, trying to do an underwater shark in CGI is very, very difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. So, you know, um, making these look realistic is very, very difficult. But still, the CGI isn't everything about the movie. If they have some great characters, maybe some comedic moments, maybe some great shark kills, maybe this movie can, you know, be everything that we need it to be. But, um... So, what are your thoughts on the upcoming release of Under Paris? Are you excited to see Shark Attack movies set in the heart of Paris? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Yeah, exactly my sentiments, guys. So, we've seen a bit of the trailer. We've had a bit of a discussion about the film. It's just a giant shark in the heart of Paris, swimming up and down the rivers, you know, munching on these athletes that are doing the triathlon. And uh, it's set to be quite fun, I, I think. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. What do you think of the trailer? Does it look interesting to you? Is this something you're going to check out if you're a Netflix subscriber? Or is it something that you think is just a kind of a, a pointless throwaway movie that we've seen before? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know, guys. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this. And as always, I appreciate you being here. And I will see you in the next one.